हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर भावना बांगा फ्रॉम मैक्स हेल्थ के आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द काइपा प्रोडक्शन टूडे वी आर हेयर टू स्पीक अबाउट द फैक्ट्स एंड मिथ्स सराउंडिंग द आई वी एफ ट्रीटमेंट देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ हज एंड बज अबाउट आई वी एफ ट्रीटमेंट टेस्ट यू बेबी डू दे मीन द सेम और इज इट डिफरेंट आई वी एफ ट्रीटमेंट मीन्स इन विथ्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन that means a test tube baby in a common man's language ivf is a treatment where we fertilize the woman's egg and the husband's sperm into an artificial lab into a dedicated uh, space we create a microscopic baby into the lab and then we transfer it into the woman's womb this is known as in vitro fertilization what are the indications do all patients need an ivf cycle no the answer to that is ivf treatment is indicated in most commonly where the fallopian tubes are blocked where the husband sperm counts are sub optimal cases where there are big ovarian cyst into the ovary cases where the, when there is advanced maternal age age of the woman is more than 38 years of age and then she is not able to get pregnant in say one or two years we need to have assisted reproductive technology to optimize the uh, to optimize the reproductive outcomes many people ask us that we want to do an icsi treatment is it same as an ivf or is it something different so into a layman's terminology ivf treatment is a terminology used for all assisted reproductive advanced technology specifically when we are saying that we want ivf and icsi in terms of treatment modality is the way we fertilize the egg and the sperm into ivf we remove the eggs and we allows nature's fertilization to happen like we keep the eggs around the sperms and into an icsi where we inject each sperm into an egg this happens when the sper- when the sperm counts are suboptimal so that is the difference between ivf and icsi but both are forms of advanced reproductive technology the answer to that depends on various parameters the age of the patient in fact the age of the couple very important the age of the uh, female partner how many times the treatment has been done in the past what results were obtained from the past treatment is her fallopian tubes blocked are the sperm counts optimum do they have a previous child etc etc based on these findings we plan a schedule for the patient that what treatment would be optimum for them in terms of the number of attempts then we move on to again a very commonly asked question that do these hormones really harm our body the answer to that is uh, before we start any particular ivf treatment which involves injections of hormones over 10 to 12 days we ensure that the patient undergoes a basic health checkup just to ensure that the liver kidney the basic blood parameters are in range and if these parameters are in range there is no side effects of drugs of these medications the incidence of multifetal pregnancy is definitely increase in your normal population where the patients are not undergoing an assisted reproduction technology the incidence of a twin pregnancy would be around 2 to 3% with an ivf cycle the incidence increases to 20% uh what if one has triplet pregnancies doctor can we go ahead with them so our advice to our, our patient is the incidence of triplet pregnancy would be 5% that would be 5 and 100 but in case someone has a triplet pregnancy we advise a fetal reduction fetal reduction is a day care procedure which is done by a fetal medicine expert it is a 20 to 25 minutes procedure uh, which takes place under local anesthesia is this detrimental to the fetal health of the uh, uh, fetal health of the other baby or to the patient are the chances of miscarriages increased no it is not so if it is done under expert care no there are no proven studies which endorse that complete bed rest would optimize the chances of a better reproductive outcome we advise rest for 15 to 20 minutes post embryo transfer
IUI cycle stands for intrauterine insemination. It is a simplest form of assisted reproductive technology. The success rates of the cycle vary anyway between 5 to 20 percent depending on the age of the woman. The answer is that again depends on the parameters on the sperm count, the tubal status, how many babies we have, what is the age of the female partner and how keen is the patient uh, to have the pregnancy, means how quick they want to have a child. PCOS is a spectrum of clinical manifestation where the patient can have got uh, where the patient can have no uh, no no problem in conceiving or the patient could require an assistance to get pregnant but by and large these patients have got good prognosis where the pregnancy outcomes are concerned people are really worried about it i i i usually tell my patients that do not worry about it they say ke doctor we have polycystic ovaries i say that's a good sign it indicate you have more eggs you have got a better chance of a re of a reproductive outcome Uh, there are millions of babies born across the world post IVF treatment and this has been approved in countries like the United States uh, as well as the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada etc. So it is a proven scientifically proven technology. So IVF technology is a scientifically proven technology ex uh, uh, accepted worldwide into expert hands the complications are very minimal. So my advice to the viewers is that be selective on the hospital or the clinic or the doctor who would handle your IVF program because expertise would lead to minimal complications. Thank you so much viewers for spending your time with us. In case you have got any queries, you please connect to the Kaiba Productions and looking forward for the next interaction. Thank you.